Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check a new 600mAh Forest LH V battery by GNB. In this video, I'm going to perform a couple of tests in order to measure its capacity and then head outdoors and test it out using this new pusher style micro quad copter by AGLRC in order to see if it's going to provide me with a longer flight time than the GNB 520mAh for s LHV battery, which so far has been my go-to battery for testing micro quadcopters. In terms of dimensions, the new battery is actually smaller and also lighter than the 520mAh battery. Its outer dimensions are 17.1 by 26.5 by 64.4mm. It weighs 55.3 grams, so surprisingly it is lighter than the 520mAh battery, even though its stated capacity is actually higher. In order to measure the capacity of the batteries, first of all I fully charge them, and then using the FD200 battery discharger by ISDT, which is capable of discharging batteries at a maximum current of 25 amperes, I fully discharge them. I ran this test a couple of times, and it's important to mention that the 600mAh Forest LHV batteries are brand new and unfortunately the 520mAh battery that I have is not brand new and it has at least 50 or 60 cycles. According to my test, the total energy that was withdrawn from the 600mAh battery was between 7.2 to 7.5 Watt hour, which is about 18% lower than the declared 9.12 watt hour value. And as for the 520mAh battery, which again is a used battery, the total withdrawn energy was 6 watt hour, which is about 25% slower than the 7.9 watt hour value. So as far as I can tell, the 600mAh Forest LHV battery is actually a 500mAh Forest LHV battery and as for the 520mAh Forest LHV battery, I will need to obtain a new battery in order to test it out, but I can guesstimate that the real capacity of this battery is probably around 420mAh. The next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test both batteries using the AGLRC MotoWoop 90 2 inch pusher style micro quadcopter, which including a naked GoPro 7 black camera weighs about 128 grams. On both flights I tried to keep the throttle at about 50% and using the 520mAh Forest LHV battery I got about 2 minutes and 20 seconds of flight time and using the newer 600mAh Forest LHV battery I got about 3.5 minutes of flight time which is pretty impressive. So even though, according to my test, they probably exaggerate regarding the declared battery capacity, this is still an excellent option in case you need a battery which is slim enough to fit on top of these micro quadcopters. And I can also tell you that I have a very good experience with GNB batteries so far, and that's the reason I normally recommend them. I'm going to wrap up this video with some flat footage, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.